three art installations, sculptures, um, and they were created as a concept by Nick Turvey, who has work in our permanent collection of sculptures in the town at Newhall. And um, we decided between us that we wanted to create something that would invite people who've probably not enjoyed the gallery space before into this space and be surprised and um, have, you know, maybe interesting thoughts about what is art and what is sculpture and what is a gallery for. And you've got a, a, a book behind you. Do people leave comments and what type of feedback have you got? Yes, we've got lots of different comments. Um, mostly really from people who've so much enjoyed the space. Um, and so kind of regular people who have said they've never seen the space look like this before. It'll never be the same again. Uh, we've also got a comment from a local councillor who said this is the worst exhibition he's ever seen in the gallery. So that was great fodder for me to send out to everyone on our mailing list uh, at Twitter and Facebook to say, is this the worst exhibition you've ever seen in the gallery? Come and tell us. So... Um, you can't beat publicity like that, can no, you? No, I think that was a fantastic comment. And he was anonymous, so that was even better. <laughs> And, and is this typical of the type of work that you have here, or, or is your art cover the whole spectrum? Uh, well, this is kind of the first major contemporary art show we've had. Um, we have a sculpture show every year because Harlow's a sculpture town. We've got 79 pieces of public sculpture in the town. Um, and we have one community show a year, either a school show or an open, which is very popular. Around the corner, a series of photographs and a speeded up film. You've got a lot of people in the community involved, didn't you? Absolutely. Um, our aim was to get people in the gallery who've never been in before. We've already met that by the three installations that you will see in the gallery. Youth offending team, kids who came up looking quite grumpy, and at the end of the first week, they were totally engrossed with what they were doing, very proud of the artworks they've made. They feel they're artists now. <laughs> uh, and we've had 10 unemployed people who've learnt skills in woodworking, dry lining, paint finishers and plastering and bricklaying as well and they're accredited now and so they are able to you know give something back and probably have best prospects for work. Around the corner a series of photographs and a speeded up film you've got a lot of people in the community involved didn't you? Absolutely um, our aim was to get people in the gallery who've never been in before we've already met that by the three installations that you will see in the gallery. Youth offending team, kids who came up looking quite grumpy and at the end of the first week, they were totally engrossed with what they were doing, very proud of the artworks they've made. They feel they're artists now. <laughs> uh, and we've had 10 unemployed people who've learnt skills in woodworking, dry lining, paint finishers, and plastering and bricklaying as well. And they're accredited now. And so they are able to you know, give something back and probably have better prospects for work. A person somewhere around this town who, who, who paints and has a series of paintings and wanted to exhibit, would they be able to do that here? Yes, um, in the open. Every year now we're having uh, an open. We've had seven since the gallery's been open and they pay a small fee and most people, whether they're professional or amateur, have a piece, you know, that they can display in the gallery. And also we um, offer the window space as you come into the Civic Centre. We offer that to artists and we've sold work from amateur artists in the window since January. Um, and also um, they're, they're able to perhaps, you know, have links with the gallery you know, as a, a new website we're, we're producing, which will be uh, local artists and they might be able to have links there as well.